As y'all can see, I am playing Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And honestly, I think it's about time that I play it. I've... This is my first... It was released like, what, a month ago or so? Hello, my name... So now I need to put in my name tag, apparently. I can't name myself Shadow because obviously Shadow's probably gonna be in this game. Maybe, I don't know. But, <sighs> ah, fuck it. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, I spelled it right. Oh, passengers can read my scribble. Trust me, my scribble is a lot worse. We got the dining car. Uh oh. Am I nervous? Uh, let me look at options real quick. Ah, uh, get rid of that. It's first day on the job, Jitters? Or can the tra train's dining car can be so bad? Come on, Michael, shake it off. Okay, wow, I just slapped myself. Did I, uh, just see you hitting yourself? M Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, oh, oh quite alright myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Is everything alright? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got her plane tickets to Spagonia. Spagonia! <laughs> so, Mirage Express, that's a reference to Mirage Saloon. And then Spagonia, obviously, unleashed. Our shower's been on first, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to the inventory. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. We have a chili dog, ramen, and chicken gourd, uh, cordon blau. Hmm. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Ho 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 I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Crab Rangoon Spicy Grilled Picky Chicken Cordon Blau Ding ding ding! Glad you can read the menu! Okay. <laughs> a little about the vessel, this is a state-of-the-art high-tech, high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be through. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our playing guests are well taken care of. Understood? Make you proud, sir. Ho ho ho. Glad this old man can rest easy. Sorry, I'm just moving my desk forward a bit. Doors to the Morris Express are opening. All aboard! When it comes to saying all aboard, no one does it better than Tom Hanks. Amy! Wow! This train is incredible! What fascinating tech! You're right, Tails! I can get used to staying on a train like this! What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from this train station gift shop? It was a pin, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pin? Cast the characters am I stuck with. Get a hold of yourself, Michael. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Arg! Of course, sir. Alrighty. <laughs> am I a pirate? No. Radio, friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. 
<laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. All coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please help them out at and ready. You'll join me, Michael, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Uh, okay, got it. Wow, so you have Knuckles, Tails, Sonic, Espio, Vector, Shadow, Amy, Blaze, Rouge. There's a left button. Who's on the left? No one's on the left. Wait, what the frick is this? What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Uh-oh. I hate the idea of a ticket lost and alone like this. Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. Let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket added to an Okay. I was originally going to plan going from uh, left to right, but I guess that helps out too in case someone lost their ticket. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? Knuckles, learn to control your strength. I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything's good. Thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Tails, can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Sonic! Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Hmm. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in and eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm just glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he? Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. I yeah. Have fun now. Will do. Thanks. Let's go, Espio. Could we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent, thank you. And I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Calmness about him. And about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? <laughs> He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. We believe one can communicate through the subconscious. W wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on to walls? To walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Vector! Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah. Sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. Vector! What's going on? Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have, um, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. It's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Oh, oh, actually, we may be able to help you. Michael, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Ah, that's my, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, 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 Mikey here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. Ha 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 ha. Oh, oh. Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course. Just let us know if you need anything else. Who's next? Let's go, Shadow. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. Seems concerned about some. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could give you. Brr, it's so cold. Oh, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Uh, no, no, I'm good. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Why, certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. 
Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, Miss... Fun, thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Birthday Gil gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. We'll use this wisely, thank you. Please. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did she just say princess? You don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho oh, oh, ho, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how far? Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Why, very easy to talk to us. So ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Then I have to uh, kindly ask for that back. Hmm. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Nope. Nope. Just like me. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's gone. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. Yeah, because you have Vector, you have Knuckles, you have Sonic, and you have Shadow. And train? Assist Michael if they need any help, won't you? Hmm. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. And more heartwarming than conducting this train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please, have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Michael here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guides I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Ah, must be details. That makes sense. Lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered, and the rest, suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participate. Participation is required, or it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Nails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry. Both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Eh? Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're a butcher and Espio the poet. Both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We can hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. <laughs> And last but not least, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yep. Oh, shit. Ah, I was listening. But that's okay. I don't know, like, you can help ensure everyone's following the rules. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. The situation is marked on this map as well. How the rules of the games are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. A murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. 
I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their own thing. Is everyone not ready? Sounds exciting. Everyone, to your stations. This should be fun. This is so, it is very, very exciting. Murder mystery party? I've always wanted to do this in real life. Unfolding right under our very noses. I have goosebumps. Hey. Ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. No, we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery. What do you think everyone's doing? Probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play as they must be exploring their characters. I want to put a hut. <laughs> I'm going to say this right now. I want to take a bet that it's uh, either Shadow or Vector that's going to end up being the murderer. And if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm gifting... Uh, $25 to one of my favorite streamers. Do you know what their character motives are? motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows about the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with the Flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person just turned journalist. Really? No, f go figure. That's kind of fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Oh, the train's starting to move. It is basically almost like a super train, so of course it'd be moving fast. What is going on? Wow. Okay, then that happened. the wake. Yeah. Is the train has slowed down considerably. Everything off. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. It's actually intended. It's my first day, so... See, first off, I like to say that I called out that it's either gonna- I feel like it's either gonna be Shadow or Vector that's gonna be the murderer. Because I know for sure it's not gonna be- it can't be Tails or Amy because they're detective and reporter and they can't be the murderer. So I'm putting my money on either Vector, who's gonna be the murderer because he's a butcher, or Shadow being the murderer because he's the locksmith. And as the name implies to the game, murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, it's Sonic that's going to be the murder mystery victim. So I'm going based off of the fact Vector is playing the role of a butcher, so he has like a butcher cleaver kind of ordeal, or Shadow just kills, uh, Shadow just kills Sonic because, I mean, come on, Sonic and Shadow, what do you expect? I mean, she's hiding something. Uh, huh? Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Oi! That was a flashback and I skipped it. My bad. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-Flicky companion did. Not to hear it. Let's get to searching. Let's start with... What is this over here? Wait a second. A rod? Hip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so I'll keep it. Stick is added to the inventory. 
I have a train map. So I'm here in the back with Tails and Amy. A stick. And then the menu. What's up with the shelf? This should not be knocked over. Shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Look closely on this. What the hell? I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. It's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Rock on the shelf is added to your I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy. Wait, what? That was it? What about the trash can and the wet floor? What the heck? Want me to cook any of this for you? Can we get out of here? Sure. I normally never make microwave meals, but I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. That hits home. Because majority of the time, I... Whenever I need to eat something and... Like, if I don't feel like cooking myself, I'll just pop in a small DiGiorno pizza into the microwave. Hey, if it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Latest. Find any clues yet? We'll find a spoon. If we'll find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. Eh, I'll keep looking. Find any clues? Oh, that just redoes that. Uh, start interrogation. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accused me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy. What the heck? Okay, I'll need to check it out at least. Stuck in here just like the two of you. Where the hell do you think I'm hiding? I was awake before Tails and I were. I don't think you were sitting idly while Mike and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. Maybe... Maybe this one? I don't know, maybe... Crack on the shelf. What? Some damage on the shelf? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails wet now. Well, now we follow the train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? Well, you see, I, uh, well, I guess don't I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad dicks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Guys, and think, what would Sonic do? And find your argument. Let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. What's going on? Go. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty simple forward. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Eh! Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. It just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Maybe a stick! Is that a stick? Maybe a stick could do this kind of damage? Depends on what was on the end of the stick.
I love this little mini game thing. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer. Ah! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your peak, to the Pico Pico hammer. Oh, hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle up to your hammer snapped right off. Ah! So as you both said, I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but it, but I failed. One big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. I expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. That was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. I see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease here, there, and fixed. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand. Oh, sweet Lord of Jesus. Let's get out of here. Wow. I keep forgetting how powerful Amy can be with that Pico. Pico hammer. The dining car is a mess. There's the murder mystery victim. Someone murdered me. Why are you so happy about that? It's like the game's begun. I don't know who did this at once. Wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Me. Uh, oh, whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. I have a convincing Sonic. Sonic? Uh, buddy? Body numb, can't move. What, what are you saying? I don't understand. Need to stop. Sonic? He actually hurt? It's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? Since Pulse. Am I doing this right? Oh no. Part of the Is this part of the murder mystery? This is serious. Okay. Sonic! Calm down, Michael. What do I do? Do everything in power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understand? Incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you, Michael, my favorite employee. You really, you won't let me down on this last ride. <laughs> that last one. Watch up to details and get to the bottom of this. Even if this part, even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe. You'll see. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. That was just the intro? That was already off to a good start. The saloon car? Aw, oh, man. Knuckles, did you break the arcade cabinet? Look at this place. It tails. Here, I think Amy's already gone, ahead, gone on ahead. She's really excited. Did you need something for me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. Nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. But I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is it part of a mystery? Part of a mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? More evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag? You don't mind? Is it cool if I tag along with you? Sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ah! Fair. The best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. You ever catch me looking glum, though? Just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a doc- not a proper detective without baggage. <laughs> this is true. 
ye varmints. What are y'all doing in my saloon? I'm so hard to stay in character. So we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy Moses threw and told me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that. Long he kept that voice up for Amy. I wonder if you could tell us what you, uh, what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and. Nope, I have nothing to tell either. Leave me alone. But why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. We need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then to interrogate. Right, let's do it. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey. Wow! A little tie-in with another Sega game, Super Monkey Ball. Okay. Do you think he broke when the train sped up? The damage just looked more to be caused from punches? Who could have done that? Eh, knucklehead. What are you two looking at me for? It's always hidden in trash. So let's check it. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. Matter of time, Tails, have faith. It's as I say, one's man one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> Come on! This is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? Well, this one has lipstick on the rim. Has lipstick on the rim, so the first three that come to mind is either Amy, Rouge, or Blaze. But because Amy was stuck in the dining car cabinet, that's either Rouge or Blaze. Knuckle that's not Knuckles' this color at all. Someone else must have been here. You should log this. I don't know, clues. That's enough clues? Wait a second. Door's locked tight. We can't go any further. He was able to leave them. When were these doors locked, and how long were they locked for? Oh, I'm sick. <laughs> kind of bland. Huh. Seems like someone licked all the salt. Off him. What? Eh. Or maybe they're just insulted. Wow! I thought I told you to leave me alone. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. Uh, sorry, Michael. I wish you luck. It's not actually going to fight me. Right? Are you blushing? I said, leave me alone. So we could see it better? I said, leave! Michael and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off, you're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Eh? It is? We have evidence, too. Let's just take a good look at your inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Uh... Arcade machine? Ah, what makes you think I touched it? Hmm... Oh, Jesus! Uh, well, you see me. Uh, let's go. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Clearly touched the arc mission because... What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Mm. What are you all staring at my hands for? So you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I need a punching bag and none were available to me. 
Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? Apparently, the arcade machine will give us our answer. Oh, well, I'm on. Rock notes, so I'll fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! Uh oh. The arcade machine is fixed. No! Don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now. Okay, what does this... What does this tell us? Because Knuckles lost to Vector by one point? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. Uh. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Uh. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here. Now. Here we go again. Honestly, I'm loving this minigame. Victor was here with Knuckles. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Victor enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's... I'm... It's not like... It's not... I wasn't... Ugh. Don't... Don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. As you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before UT came in, honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Rank group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. What about... But what about the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. It's inconstant, Quintal. No worth, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Mm. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That don't make sense to me. So many of our qu- Actually, that's not everything. Is it, Knuckles? Eh? Let's step back to something I noticed. One more th name on that list, on that high score list, doesn't make sense. Michael, can you take a look one more time? Odd name on the high score list. What the hell is talking about? Hector Knuckles. Wait a second, what? I have a food. Toast, apple, bread, bagel, candy. Ultim. Ultimate, that has to be Shadow. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know Michael, but there's someone here that goes by that the title. The Ultimate Life Form. There really someone here? There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing speaks by you. 
Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then a shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. He told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors and what was Rouge searching? I don't know, they didn't tell me, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them for yourselves. And I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. Right now I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Michael. Let's head to the library. On it! Yeah, this is way more exciting than microwave. Coming! You mosey down to the next one? You got it, partner. Onwards! Library car. Here we go. Heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. Fabulously helpful. Already? Where you go, Espiano? And I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? Sweet, thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. But at the pace you two are going, Sonic's murderer will never get found. Confident, she must have something up her sleeve. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you. Don't worry, Sonic. We don't want to avenge you. Quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege the case before anyone else. Bye! Amy must be hasty. He's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm a detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... Just making sure things go well. Things are going great. Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. Well, I mean, besides that. Besides murder? I'm Vector, the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the Poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure, uh... Teardrop? <laughs> the f... <laughs> what is up with these chow? The spring, can you hear me sing? Uh, was that it? I have more if you like. I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. These are rhyming, I suppose. Michael and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leaving the dining car? Oh, sure, simple. We just explained this to, uh, to uh, Amy, actually. When we all, when we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf, and I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Oh, 
just been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. Hey, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to this casino car, again locking the door behind him, then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, he realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it alright. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. He's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. I'll pass on that, SBO, thanks. The alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. From Vector's reason for Lewin, leaving his poet and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. Small task, but we can do it. Get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. There's a chow here. I really needed to see this. Hmm? Hang in there. Swings the flies. Often the most rewarding. This child can stick to his principles and find strength, and I can too. No way there was that much thought put into the poster, right? Ooh, brochures. There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I have a good overhead map. Let's take it. Can we take this brochure out of cave too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It's my fondness. Please. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. Spines are creasing. They're opening too far. Feels empathy for everything. Check a stop and look at all these books. Oh, can ease me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. The Mirage Express Express main. The user's guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. You think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. You make a note of this. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's auto autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. Globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. Oh yeah, plenty of wonderful people and shops around the world of Mobius. Especially my personal favorites, Spagonia and Empire City. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. A real good homage to Sonic Unleashed. You ever think about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich? I'll keep that in mind, thanks. Oh yeah. If you want to talk about someone who's been all around the world, you might want to talk to Sonic, but he's dead at the moment. Always hidden in the trash. Say it, but there's nothing here. Ah. N no, no, I'm alright. Uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin if we find. So. Um, yeah, you just gotta stay optimistic. Well, yeah, un unconventional. Uh, unconventional. 
Is that supposed to be a compliment or not? I don't know. We're going to clean up this car. Yeah, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Um... He locked this door on his way out. That'll be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. We found enough clues. Victor and Espio to find out what really happened. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. Damn! Actually try to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity tales. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup-stained apron, not a butcher. I think you've had a knife on you. We definitely think you're the murderer. Hmm? But what if I hid the knife? No, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. So. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the valid uh, validity of your alibis. Michael and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Eh? Uh, what? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. Line up with the information we gathered in Knuckles. Yep. Then, then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Bruges entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. Must have been a good book. Must have been a good read. What was the book? Hmm. Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? Don't talk. I have a hunch on what that book might be. Could you help me out? What do you think Espio may have been? Potentially the Moragics. A manual? You think SPO was reading instructions? Or could you possibly have to support this? Because the fact it was on the back on the shelf out of alphabetical order? Oh sweet Lord. What the heck were those? Oh, were those shurikens or something? SBO. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order, all except this manual. Meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Uh, this lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SPO. By the way, doing the vector voice has hurt my throat a bit. <coughs> Chip can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Michael, if you don't mind... Eh, you ask SPO some questions about the manual, just flip to a page and ask away. Hmm. Quiz SBO about the manual? Okay. Should I quiz him on? Uh. Let's go to page 97. Okay, um. What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning the trash and messes afterwards. I can clean some. Oh, I have a feeling the train company didn't. Just didn't want to hire any janitors. 
The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like us POA to that question. Michael, hit him with another. Okay, which page should I do? Uh, let's go to page 231. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. Wow. The person who made this rule must have been over 65. Oh, so Michael. Let's see if SBO can go 3 for 3. Which page should I pick last? Let's go to page 402. What was the implement what was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system system. It works in tandem with the conductor to, to assure smooth travel for guests. Yes. Train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suit of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass you a little test? Yeah. Totally. So why do you able to retain all this information so quickly? A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. I literally read the manual, those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks you read? You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. You answered all my questions so calmly, that's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all, my alibi is hard to sub substant uh brr, i can't talk like that substantiate despite being the truth eh. well he definitely read through the manual so i suppose we can't is that true vector was the only one to see you reading yes that's correct problem frankly i don't believe that can be true and we have evidence to back it up michael always puts me on the spot I think. A piece of evidence to someone who also saw us being free what Maybe the library map? I'm not sure what you're trying to say with that. Don't waste my time. Uh, oh, maybe the lock. Let's do we have this. Shadows lock? Please, pray tell. What this has to do with anything? Well, Michael, let's do our argument together. Here we go again. I'm really loving this freaking Dream Gear mechanic. Chano walked through the library car to get to the Sun car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espia said he saw Shadow into the library car. But he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated, reading his book for a good while at this point. Ugh. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I... you see... This is the first time I've seen Espio get nervous, ever! And he's not... and he really hasn't been in many Sonic games lately. He, just, as far as I can remember, Heroes, Generations, front, uh, Forces... I know he was in the Sonic Colors DS version, but I never played that one. I played the Wii. But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. Just a reminder. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. Well, I took my book. I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. 
Yeah, I think I remember doing that. Depends on my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espiel. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. It doesn't seem right to me. It'll definitely feel like he's on. I vanished to not notice Shadow's return to the library. Thank you. I mean, I gotta join Tails. And. Favorite and beloved employee. Please, protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old feeble soul to get sued. Speak up. Tails? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow sussy, lay it on me. This shows that Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another. I'm loving this. Uh, library map? Oh, oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another, a straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you have to point out where exactly on the map you mean, where Espio could have been for Shadow to not see him. Potentially, uh, this one right here. Interesting. That's where I was sitting, reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it, then. See? Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because the bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. Makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return to Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me. Well, I isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. This is starting to really get fun. And it's self out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Rouge and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. And that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give a heck! And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose. Well, doors get, keep getting locked. Tick tock, tick tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. Come on, Michael. Let's see what's next. You don't want to stay and look at all the Greek books a little longer? The mystery calls. Okay. This is really fun. <laughs> look at the chow. At least it's not Oma Chow. Oh god, the annoying little fucker. It's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Oh, the stuff that I didn't need for sure. There you are. We have a lot to say to you. We've visited every train car so far, and everyone said that they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? I see you've brought the microwave master with you. Ah, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. That's all right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Eh. Ellen Rouge, we're gonna need to help. Blaze? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure rumor to be stored here on the train. Certainly don't tell me about treasure in here. 
Since I'm part business... Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Alright, well... It's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé chow egg is here in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, some treasure's real? It's actually here. And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Well, well, why didn't you both take a look? The train's blueprints in the library car with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. It's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see them. Uh uh uh, find his keeper, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that car to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow Egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine, sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, her lower card must be in. Yeah, it's probably the lower card. And her breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Do you have an opinion on this? Time for a five finger discount. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Michael are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow egg. Let's have you both on the team. Now we must plan. What is going on with these two? What have we gotten ourselves into? Locked elevator door. Security guard has the access card. Do we? Sure. Perfect. We're all trying. Rouge. Stop. Stop, Rouge. I've never seen you smile like that. It seems like they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs to work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Tails. Sure, I could be the distraction. I don't like the way he said that, Vito. I'm in blaze. His delivery is shaky. No, really, I could do it. Sorry, buddy, but I think you'd be better off elsewhere. In that case, who should be security guard? I think maybe Blaze. I think maybe Blaze because Rouge is the one that wants to get the egg. Distract the guard, Blaze. In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Oh, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? in Ruckus. I like it a lot. I love the fact that drawing it makes me think of the how the fact cats in in real life cats always like to knock stuff off the counter. They love to do that. Sure. Let's move forward. Distraction. Rouge. How will we get the access card? Snatchy. That's Chow in uniform. What does it think? You count on you, Rouge. Emails from them if you can help it. No promises. Hard get obtained. We need to get Blaze out of there. Michael, what's your plan? <laughs> Pretend that I'm Blaze's husband. Then you'd be married into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I am. Um... You dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. Part obtained. We need to get Blaze out of there. A drink without a coaster. There's nothing. Else. I'll never allow such a thing in my kingdom. No one will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Alright, and with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. Just like that, we'll make it in the elevator. Inside, we... 
Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh, no. Gail's managed to do it. Stop. Oh, boy. This should be good. Let's see what's up. That elevator. Here we go. Oh, we just skipped right past it? Are you kidding me? I would have loved to see that whole thing in action. Or without you both. My gratitude. Beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. It was executed to perfection. I have the safe code right here on these bloopers. We are fabulous and chowing. Laying about in the grass. And that's a n a safe with our treasure. Turn the code and on the blueprints and find out. On sweetheart, let's see. Twenty three, four, one. Oh wow! Is it? Yeah. All right. Before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. Can't be so hasty. You surely think that's all there is to be saying? No further secrets whatsoever? Burge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these have never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? Sure can. All of you will bear witness to its secret. Burge, I don't know if you should do is twist it. That's why. Uh. Uh oh. Bruce. Has no one lived to tell the egg secret? Because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Most of it. After all our hard work. Bruce. Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do I put this thing? What? Oh my god! Does the wall have blaze eat set the egg on fire? No, that'll make it explode. Smash the egg against the wall, that'll blow it up. Eat the egg, that only makes it blow from let's twist the egg again. Oh my god. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one, like the movies. This is a movie, Michaels. Ah. Okay, um... Who'd you hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter, we need this chaos to be able to do it. Oh, dang it. Okay, um... But perhaps fire and explosives shouldn't mix. I think fire would neutralize the blast. Say things, don't you, Michael? Maybe. I'm not picking that bottom one. Ah, Cruz. Okay, fine. It's going back in. You want to stay open? Guessing you don't like this idea? Obviously not. Okay. Um. Jesus Christ almighty. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Rouge? We, uh, think of a different one. Here, give it to me. Eh? Get, get as far away as possible. Just remember me as a... I mean, that's what they... 
What? It's almost the body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. Bro. I would not need something. You know what I mean? I'm not going to blow up the elevator. Let's record this. Um. Stop. I don't know. However refreshing the breeze may be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. to just blow up. Needs to dispose of the bomb, Michael. Well, listen, I get that, but what if the egg is the bomb? Wait, that's right. You can offer something. Huh? That's right. We don't, you know, we don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Ezra did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Um, what efficient, extreme, accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? They can also detect weapons and explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. That means the egg is not a bomb. Oh. Now, the tactics in the other seem to have a lot of functions here on that train. If a bomb was brought onto the train and disguised as this Faberge Chow, Chow egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, we wait. Okay. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You really are. You both really were on something. I can't believe I forgot about that. That's one way to get the heart racing. Wait, really? really? Sign! Wow! That's so beautiful! It's so heavy, too! Oh, the Faberge Chow Egg. Is a chow covered in gems? Perfect. It's, it's, it's revolutionary. Big ornament. Oh, I must admit, it is. I'd love to tell the Faberge Chow Egg secrets. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? You need to be honed. Kind of old age and just get the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. Free assistance. Which was exactly the thrill I was seeking. It wasn't... Stealing was strangely fun? True, but I'd prefer to never do it again. Thank you. Rouge? What, what? It's a daughter. About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could have to take a look? While I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures. But I promise to let you take a peek when you're... I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you can speak. Sure. Well, we'll get out of your way for now then. Order mystery to attend to. No, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge, but we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. Unlock both of you, stay safe. Thanks again. Come on, Michael, let's head out. Gotcha. Yeah. Casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. True! A lot of casinos. Because you have Casino Night Zone from Sonic 2, you have Casino Park and Bingo Highway from Sonic Heroes. And I think there was, wasn't there...
Texas Hold'em? Oh, I think I remember how to play Texas Hold'em. Funny. One of, one of my uh, friends who was actually my manager at my one of my older jobs taught me how to play Texas Hold'em. It's actually pretty easy if you get lucky enough. I don't my pockets. Lock, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. Start to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I inconceivable. Hey, hey, what's going on? I see you made here, Tails, but I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Hey, I'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog still. I don't know if I don't think Shadow particularly likes to eat chili dogs. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment. I have an appointment coming up. What? Who wants to meet with him? It seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Michael. Hey, it's the big chow band. How is that spiritual? Feel reawakened. But what about Diddy? the wardrobe please sure wait is there a reason you want me to do it when something falls out or someone leaps out i think you should do it all right watch a pro <laughs> what was there dust you were too fast it blew everywhere <laughs> hmm Rank? Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. My ear. Complete with internet access for casual browsing. It's convenient. Be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. Just really need to use it. Else? No. I think we should check the trashman. An empty Michael, and you've been disappointed every time. Make it sad again if there's something in the trash bin. <sighs> All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Oh, there was something in the trash bin. A front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to inventory. Are we sure it's, this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. Always success if you check the trash bin. What are these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh. Uh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Can you? Give me a high five. I can give you a high five. Sweet. I finally kind of it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. Thorough, do you have any clues for us? It's a hot tip. All will be revealed in due time. I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. I hear sharing is caring. Rose is always first to reveal the scoop. Doctor, then I'll be ready. I'll hold you to it. But you've had your hammer this whole time. That's a good point. Simple. The birthday girl gets what the birthday girl wants. And I don't go anywhere without my hammer. Ah, birthday law. We should have known. Fun. Everyone knows the birthday rules. Makes sense to me. Now, no more questions. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. You know... Maybe we will get out of here, actually. Certainly not. Uh, 
Then the big chow band. Oh, <laughs> look at the window! Right here! Big! I realize this train would drive along the coast. I'll hop out and take a dip in the ocean. I just thought the same thing. And something. Very clean, but I won't. But I won't let it stop me. And here you go. Wow, that's such a good picture. Why would Sonic be rowing a boat though if he can just run on water? What's this string? A pull string? Michael? What? It's gotta activate something. The, the back of the door opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. What? How? I'm sorry, what? That is so baffling. It's the library. It's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh, quick, back to the passage before they spot us. Hmm. We need to add that to our inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Why did you come over here? Shadow, we have questions for you. Please three get out. I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train and... And I know why. Uh... Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? I want to reveal my hut too. For a scoop found by yours truly. The next car is the conductor's car, where, where Sonic was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following, the shadow is locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Uh, do you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others. So one, so one locked door was in a... Suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. They never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Logic sound though? Shadow trap. Oh. I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Gamey. Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic. Then how is Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly! I think Michael and I can explain the car change, however. Eh? Well, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Okay, that's good. We found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? 
So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, man. Hmm, this just my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Eh, are you officially accusing Sh Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Eh. Shadow's not going to talk to no human Hugh once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um, it would be hard to sneak around two people. Do you have any guesses? Oh, well, oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... That's true, Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow into the library car. See, things are falling into place. But what about Espio? The Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. <clears throat> and the library checks out. That's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Wait a second. Why are you even searching for Espio, huh? <clears throat> if you must know, I needed to give him a key. Why would the locksmith be giving away his keys? Geno has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the door to the next door for us. I didn't know that. shadow has been passing out keys? Perhaps Michael and I can further validate Shadow's claim. Yeah. What evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving, away, giving keys away? The key ring, because it only has two left. Oh Jesus, I uh, forgot to jump. I forgot to jump. <laughs> Go. I'm loving this. All reason there's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. Way. Well, what if his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Tch. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. Hmm. I think Michael and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Hmm? Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Well, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me everything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Michael? Ah, yeah, Tails? Okay. But I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. I have to give Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. Why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy. You and I started in the dining car. He could have given us keys if he wanted to. That's a compelling argument. Mm. Was Shadow locking the doors to keep us away? Not us, Michael. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Uh. What? Excuse me? Dude, that is my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? 
dare you? How dare you? Michael, show me evidence. Uh, huh? Shadow's trying to keep me away. Prove it. It's so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Oh, I know. That crumpled piece of paper for Amy's band. Oh, sweet criminy Jimbus. That was a whole lot of chaos spears. You went hurting through the trash? Oh, what is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails don't! <gasps> this is Hot Honey's website! No, I love them! Uh, Hot Honey? I'm currently obsessed with Jeremy B is, uh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name? Gotten to any of their shows yet to see them though. They're really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. I don't know how Charles figured Oh uh, I think this I think the honeybee uh printing paper, I think that was supposed to be Amy's birthday present from Shadow. The hot honey Bant's ticket website exists because... <gasps> Is this true? You're gonna give me concert tickets for my birthday? <sighs> I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Here. Shadow. I printed earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging on to the website, did you print the homepage? But... Did you print the homepage by accident? Hold up! Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with the computers, admittedly. And somehow you managed to help Vector, Charmy, and Espio find the computer room back in Westopolis. I accused you of murder. No, everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. <laughs> Sorry, that's all a detective's job is, I suppose. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Aiden had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. Concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here, somehow. Because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door but these. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. No, I... Your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you, too. It gets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. Um, uh, I don't know if... I've been... Show my life to... I don't know about that. <sighs> Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. A lot of pictures from the concert, you two. <clears throat> the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. Why am I... I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reported down the drain. I mean, I am curious. Who is the source of for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. Maybe shot, but my principles must stay intact. A strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Hmm? But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. See this through to the end. 
We're more than happy to have you both. Michael, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation has finally come to a close. Wow, and after about, like, almost two hours. So we'll pin down Sonic's murder for a bit. Let's do it! Now or never. After a few more songs. Hey, big chow band, can y'all play Live and Learn? Conductor car. Really short, really short, sort out my evidence before I continue. Short time working on the I haven't visited a conductor car yet. It was empty? Wait, where's the conductor? It's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when we went. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened to you. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of Joe in your hand, wife by your side. Paradise. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. Realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on a train like the conductor can. Didn't they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. And some of these functions, maybe I could drive the train. Completely trust you to drive the train. Damn, actually. True, you could drive this train flawlessly. <laughs> Aw, guys. I'm alright, I don't need to check. A clue here before, huh? I know they say always... I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Good in his uniform. For a long time, after 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. A lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yeah, I wish that too. And talk to the whole train with this. For the mic. Hear this, your armpits stink. <clears throat> so I'm like, do not decline. I I'm about sure they are, Tails. It's just being silly. I'm playing darts. That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto the train. Uh oh! Shouldn't be possible. Gills is right, the train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. That's been completely torn up. Okay. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear it off, but the question is why? Confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. I ask. What do you mean solve this case once and for all? No enough evidence for all everyone here. It's high time we named a suspect. I think Michael already solved the case. Oh, uh, yeah, the sales, right. No information and advertisements. Picture's really clear. I would watch a full movie on them. I said happy birthday. So cute. That being for nasal medication was a little jarring though. <laughs> it's drive the train the entire time. Same, but the train's quick speed up is odd and we certainly don't know where he is. Right. Alright. Let's end this. Aren't that girl speaking? Please report to the conductor car at once. Everyone has to come to the conductor car. Knuckles, SBO, Vector, Rouge, Blaze. You all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime spot. Assistance from my. Why hasn't Sonic shown? Hmm? Vector? Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? You must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Birdie, let's go get him. Let me tell you, Don, this has been a delight. A delight? 
Even here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. Train has so many amenities. I feel so catered too. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective out of outside of this mystery, Espio. I see why you're a detective outside of this case, Miss. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'll be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. Escape rooms, get me in. I was having a good time. I'd ride a train just to relax. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too. What the? Uh, what in the world? That's Amy's voice. Where's Amy? He really is gone. He he's not responding to us. Wait, that I think that blow dart probably uh knocked him out, or it was some kind of poison. I don't know. What is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Can you pass? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Or Daniels. Could this really have been one of us? No one else here, Knuckles. Well, I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? Hmm. Inexcusable. Alex hurt. Expose the monster who did not happen. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but oh, he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of his tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. Figure out exactly what happened in this room. Punish the one who's responsible. It's Sonic. I have a question. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Okay. Based on evidence, obviously Tails and Amy can't have been uh, the main suspect because they're the detective and the journalist. They can't be the murderer. During the time of Sonic's murder, Knuckles was busy... Uh, hmm. During the time of... Uh, So we have Espion and Knuckles, Vector, and Rouge were in the saloon car playing. Uh, wait, during the time of the murder, I think Shadow, Vector, Knuckles, and Rouge were all in the saloon car. The three boys were playing Super Monkey Ball. Rouge was trying to look for something. Blaze was still in the casino car, I think. Espio was quote unquote still in the library reading. <gasps> oh, wait a sec. Oh, no. I just realized. Uh, Vector was in the library. Vector and Shadow were in the library. Or, my bad. Not the saloon car playing Super Monkey Wall with Knuckles. Leaving Espio alone. While he was reading the instruction manual for the train. So he figured out about the secret passage from the library to the lounge. It's completely skipping the casino car so Blaze wouldn't see him. And then he made his way over to the conductor car and hit Sonic with the dart. Oh. Cheeky. You were the one to murder Sonic. Weren't you? Oh. Mm. I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of which you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? Oh, we talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful if everyone, I think. Espio was locked into the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that he needs to be addressed. Could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. No evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time with my hookers. 
It's true. You didn't miss a question. Why do you think Michael and I can explain it to you? Uh -huh. I just feel know everything in the train manual he was reading. A ninja like him speak. It's a ninja. He's fluent in 17... Is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? And this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is possible. Espio is particularly skilled. I know Espio a long time. I've known Espio a long time. He's won sped rec He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. Uh, if I'm right and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio have known it was there? You said yourself, kid, you're lucky to even find the passage. I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Had evidence? Has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Maybe Shadow? can see something later and now th they told us we can see something later and now it's the time to take a look we can see something later <gasps> oh rouge rouge we need to see those blueprints 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 you stole blueprints whatever i would have used it to scout for more treasures came up cold you can have it This right here is a blueprint of the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Michael, do you have an answer for me? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. That means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Michael and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm not sure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Michael and I have evidence on how it was done. <laughs> oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Oh, that surprised the hell out of me. So he sped read that he sped speed read that entire book in less than an hour, found the hidden passageway, and made his way to the conductor car. This blow dart was found here in the conductor. Car. Oh. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? That's a good point. The tails was honest. 
I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Michael and I know another way it could have been done. What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Back to the blueprint, it seems. Okay. God damn it, the freaking. Okay. So at least now I can tell where the floors are that are about to give out. Damn it, dude. Okay. Third time's the charm. Hey, third time's the charm, like I said. Alright, let's take a look. Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There- there's, there's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car! Oh! Huh? I didn't even see that area! Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. <clears throat> the vent? Of course! That must be the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. My word! There is a path back there. And a track. A track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying, I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. That feels right, this is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? The broken robot arm. Well, it's a good thing those capsules are worth 10. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if... One of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? Oh. I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. This seems theory tales. We have to admit, these are a lot of con coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBI yet, but I have found one inconsistency. Hmm? What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that inf information came from Espio. Who received that information? You received a hot scoop, didn't you, did you not? This time you told us where that scoop came from. 
you're, you're right. SPL lied to me. As you told me, Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. We found out Shadow trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you. That scoop came from you, SPO? No. no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passengers' safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, SPO. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? <sighs> and now you're lying to me? On my birthday? Of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy casting further blame on Shadow. For no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone. It could only have been one person. It was you, SPO. You're the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Sonic? Hey, guys. Hey, he's, he's somewhat okay. Just as we solved the mystery, SBO was the murderer. Right. SBO jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. Oh, Dark though? Really? That's how. That's how. Because they didn't see the this little stick as a potential weapon. Oh, really? It's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. Something important. SP left me there. Something important. I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad Nick. Like, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But when he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized... The train's powered by a flicky. Look, a tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Eggman! I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's, it's the conductor's friend. The train is his coke and gutter. I'm not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in here. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blowdar from Espio. Eh. Uh. SPO left, the lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came from me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow! But another robot arm managed to grab me and pinned me to the floor. I screamed as the arms approached him, but. I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. So where's the conductor then? No. Oh. Mm. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. Mm. It's gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Crazy, it's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. Oh. I was just following the rules. See? Use this blow dart on Sonic stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express staff. See? What is that? It says, use this blow dart on Sonic stationed in the conductor car. It's laced with... Staff. 
What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dirt along with that card. Signed staff. Who gave this to you? I'm just good. One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? Hmm. I don't think it would have been the train itself because the train is powered by Flicky. Could have been the conductor? I don't know. I'm just going to say the train. It's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Someone wanted, something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while. So I think the train itself is planning something. So we learned the train's a bad thing, and now it's out to end? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. I'm seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train? Come on, show yourself. Hey, pay me. And I don't need you messing with me. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's gonna be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? Uh-oh. What did you two do? Is that... The conductor? I can get him down. Don't touch him. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. Those were too distracted playing our, your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman! Leave you and your annoying party right to his egg fortress. I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails like always planned. What are you. And up. And up speed. Oh, grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Oh. Uh, can't keep my footing. Oh, did I just get knocked out? Yep. Ooh. Some evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Hills, Amy, here. Hello. He's a yell bud. It's a sign. Oh, okay. And then there seems to train arms throw us back into the dining car. But oh, where's everyone else? A quick question. But for now, you're all right. terrible. Yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. But when the situation is dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. What is this? That's good bearings to take a look. Good idea. Good way. Ooh, this is getting handy. Oh man. What? All covered. I never got to look at the pretty views. Saying the train's sights couldn't be beat us. I still don't know where my wallet is. Oh, well, the train's definitely mad at us. Good call. What's ticking doing here? Here's the napkin for his ticket. Ticket for a napkin? I've been out. What's happened on this train? Get comfy. This may take a minute. Wow. Sounds like I missed a party. <laughs> Glad you're back up in that. From this, from the action, too long. First, uh, we better find a way out of here.
Uh, well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Eggman! Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. Got some nerves showing up here, Egghead! One of my past friends. Don't talk to me. Didn't talk about you in my interview. Well, no, sir. Sort of. Oh, for future schemes. Let me guess, another dead egg? Doctor Predictable? No fear. Giant spheres. It's science! Shut it! You've already made the dead egg three or four times already. Once... Once in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, another time in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and then you rebuilt it for forces. Or as they were stationed in. It seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a bad Nick is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision and report to me if any of you happened aboard. Art is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. Your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking, I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. Make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. And simple like my autograph or whatever. Ah, highly intelli intelligent train. You may ask for something more interesting. I like reward programs. Are you done blabbering, Doc? You never just win silently, can you? Cross me, Hedge. I already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. He knows how to get him. He already knows how to get under my skin. Patient and being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. To mention we're all separated. I had Sonic knocked out, deliver us to Eggman. The whole time we were in all in danger, and I went along with it. Caption. More assertive earlier. I can tell the situation is Sorry, I... You know, Thor's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. When negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need your help, hey? Think of this through before I just send it back. Think before you think, kind of guys. <laughs> okay, right. Mark for the train rides. I know you have one thing to do. Nails and I have been asking souls to work, so the world would you? I do. We had all our skin friends by any means. Let's go. Yes, I don't think we'll begin another break after. Ready to go? It said let's do it to it. <laughs> In this mystery. Our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my rings count gave me an In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. In his last adventure, talking about frontiers? Wow. Enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door too. Ready? Let's do this. Here we go. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. 
Come on, let's go. Let's go. It all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. Ow. Not enough rings. Restart that one. Oh, I missed it. Time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. You gotta move. You too, right? Always. It's boogie. Another one down. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go. Ow. I'm good. There's no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right, I'm ready to stop this train. I'll finish this. Damn. I'm like two hours later, and this is one of the best Sonic mystery games I've ever played. I mean, this is the only one I've played. Grabbing these pets, in a hurry to me. Probably dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land. And probably another death egg. Oh, to the future? We've already ruled the planet. Here, I'll do that. Whatever. Shit. Alright. And I feel my wish will be. Wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it, just bring me those overgrown males. I wish. I will not fail. Is it ever? Taking this thing down! Possibly stand. Promise to be together our whole lives. Okay. What do you mean? The conductor? It's tired. You just have to accept it. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's what's up.
Enough. Speak. Stop this. I told you we'd be with each other forever. I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Do this. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. What the fuck? Homing attack. Oh, Flucky. It's just like the lore card. When my ex best friend left detective work, joined Dr. Angman. So this really is a bad Nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. On it. Show our full power. Not enough rings. Redo. Redo. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. I'm at the expense of others. As I checked, that's being that's called being selfish. Selfish. Oh, the three hit down. I'll grab the flicky. It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Ah! Amy? Such a perfect catch. Trying to slow him down. 
Great hit, Amy. Yeah, that was pretty great, wasn't it? Yeah, when you messed with my special day. I just couldn't bear to see you go. Sorry, trouble. My work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Thank you. Goodbye. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Oh, that was good. As one banged up tr train. <laughs> we did it! Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This has a unique way of doing it. Watch your step, watch your step. Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't love parties for bite and someone tries to kill you? I'm actually gonna miss this group's unhappy way of thinking. You're late. Been here for hours. You don't honestly never believe what happened. You won't even try. <laughs> You're quick. I mean, what do you need to pack? I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something terrible. Do you want me? Thank for time, dear. Oh, who's this? <laughs> no friend type. Uh, the flicky. Seems that seems that flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, SPO. It was the least I could do. Sonic, sincerely apologize for the trouble. Happy, you were just following what you thought was the game. Hard to know what I would have done in this situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart. It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I'm sorry. Very cool. Now that we're all safe, it was fun. Boy, am I starry time. I never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. I could play detective. Only you could have seen me. Those present evidence, holes and alibis. Donna? Wait, where'd he go? Guess what? They should have some green, and look what I bought. Happy birthday! The confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. An adventure. A memorable party every year. Do a fun A ride from start Your friendship grows stronger each celebration. Amy, never lose your best. Happy birthday, Amy. Or clean. Was a nasty. Happy birthday, Amy. Amy. Got murdered by a lonely train. Right. Never leave me. Right. Why don't you remind me? Why don't have some cake? Do good, everyone. I hope it's chocolate. <laughs> I don't know about that, Shadow. <laughs> You're joking. Both Metal Sonic and Sage, you're lying. That train's never making it here, is it? Orbot, prepare a bath. The happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry. Sour choice here, you want Shut it. <laughs> I find that funny. Ten lives for a fleeting moment and then back to things as they were. Series so realized Eggman was running the trace, popped back to seize control. Next week, it clean now. For me, I. 
And then... Practiced my singing. And after all that, I... Now run a local supermarket. Yeah, that's just been my life. <laughs> Ooh, credits. Been about two and a half hours. Can't wait to see. Can't wait to see what the credits say. Like, who all was involved in it. Uh, okay. Lead game designer, lead program, Grand Battle, written by Ian Mo much fun. Okay. Art director, Alan Alsop. <coughs> Sorome. In. Sure does this. In much fun. The character artist, Mink. Background artist. Okay. Pix Pixel artist. I'm assuming that's for the little Dream Gear mechanic, which I love. That was great. Additional music by Sega. Yep. Music special thing. Wow. Jun Sonoe, Tony Harnell, and Johnny Gioelli. Wow. Tony. Last I remember Tony Harnell being associated with a Sonic game was Heroes, unless if I'm mistaken. Other than that, John, John Sonoe and Johnny, uh, Johnny Gioelli, they're two members of Crush 40. But the last time they were involved with the Sonic game was Team Sonic Racing because of Greenlight Ride. Director of Lore, yep. Yeah. Manager of Lore, yep. Yeah. Special thanks, Ian Flynn! Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'd love to see Ian Flynn's in the credits nowadays for these Sonic games. Well, this is. I love these credits. Scott Williams. Public relations, okay. Oh, I can speed it up, okay. Sales, operations. This was very fun. I love it. President CEO, Sega special thanks. Oh, wait. All Ryan and yeah. Miyamoto, what the fuck? The stray cats outside Justin's house. <laughs> thank you, Sega, for letting us make this game, and thank you for playing. Happy April Fool's Day. Observed, Sega. That was fun from start to finish. I love it. Anyway. Oh, my head is killing me now. I think I used too much brain power on that. Alright, that is the full playthrough of The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. With that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.